here's your 90 Day Fiancé weekly update. Starting with the WTF of the week, Jesse trying to help the Tiger King. <laughs> Let me explain. So in a move that absolutely no one predicted, Joe Exotic, better known as the Tiger King from the hit Netflix TV show, took to Instagram to post, quote, meet my amazing dear friend Jesse Meester, actor, model, and so much more. You will see him around on my stuff more and more as he is going to help me get a voice to the White House for President Biden to sign my pardon before November this year. Show him some love. Love you, Jesse. As if that wasn't strange enough, Jesse then replied to that post saying, we love you too, Joe. People close to you turned their back on you, but not us. You helped many people through lockdown and we should never forget the truth and authenticity you lived your life with. It's sad that the backstabbing and lying has become the norm this society. Time to unite and fight back to get you out. I'm tired of people getting away with lying and backstabbing. Joe should be a free man. It's just all so bizarre, isn't it? It remains to be seen exactly how Jesse's going to get Joe Exotic a presidential pardon. But given that he's currently serving a 21 year prison sentence for apparently trying to hire a hitman to kill Carol Baskin, I think it would be a remarkable achievement if Jesse from 90 Day Fiance manages to get Joe out of jail. All I can think is there must be something in this for Jesse. And I'm guessing that probably boils down to more publicity and maybe more money making opportunities. Speaking of which, have you seen what Big Ed is doing to make money these days? I'm very curious to see how much Ed makes from this. Do you think he'll make more or less than Darcy's OnlyFans? Darcy was actively trying to promote her OnlyFans account this week, but honestly, you've really got to ask yourself, what has she done to herself? This screenshot did the rounds this week of Darcy not wearing any makeup up. And what with the size of her lips and her general obsession with always trying to look younger and constantly going under the knife, you do have to question who likes this kind of look enough in order to subscribe to her OnlyFans. With that said, concerns were raised this week when Darcy shared this video of her 17 year old daughter Aspen getting her teeth whitened. Now of course, in terms of cosmetic work, teeth whitening is quite trivial, especially in comparison to what, for example, Yara just got. But I do hope that this isn't a sign of things to come. Now, as far as Yara's concerned, she admitted this week that she's had breast augmentation surgery and you'll never guess who her doctor was. Yep, that's right. That's Dr. Abeng, Angela's doctor. Now, if you haven't seen my video in which I discuss Dr. Abeng's history, including the footage of when he jumps on a video call with Angela whilst conducting surgery on another patient, well, you've got to check that video out next. I'll leave a link in the description. As for Yara, surgery, she explained that after breastfeeding her daughter Myla, she was left feeling insecure about her breasts, hence the need for Dr. Abeng's help. But after the prank that Jovi's mum Gwen played on her, I think she's also going to need help from a good hairstylist. <laughs> Payback's a biatch. How's it coming, Yara? Is this fun for you? It's freaking hilarious. Look how pretty. Yara was not impressed with that, was she? I guess that's what she gets for starting a prank war with Gwen. This whole thing started when Yara did this to Gwen a few weeks ago, and I bet that must have taken ages to clean up. I am curious though, I've seen a few people commenting that they think these pranks are staged. What do you think? Do you think they're real or are they just acting? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Moving on, we got an update this week on David's weight loss journey. So far, he's lost 70 pounds and wife Annie seems to be his biggest cheerleader. Oh my god, look at you! Give me an update. Oh my god, look at my sexy, sexy man. While he explains that he still wants to lose another 50 or 60 pounds, as many other cast members mentioned in the comments, he's doing really well on his journey. Congratulations, David. Now, someone else who's keen to show off how good she's looking at the moment is Tanya. She reminded us to eat a peach for National Peach Month. 
Her peachy post of her in her bikini came after she last week reacted like this upon learning about Sinjin's new girlfriend. What a difference a week makes, eh? Now for some more serious news. Devon gave us an update this week on how little Taeyang is doing with his fight against cancer. As you might be aware, Taeyang, who's three years old, is currently battling childhood leukemia. He's apparently now starting his third month of chemotherapy and Devon states that this is almost like a break for him because he needs to go in for chemo every 10 days rather than every seven days. I'm sure you'll join me in sending him my best wishes and I hope he gets better soon. What a brave little boy. As a show of support and in solidarity with Taeyang, Devon's partner Chris has shaved his hair. Now while Chris isn't Taeyang's biological father, his father being Jehoon, Devon and Chris are expecting their first child together. Devon's currently 30 weeks pregnant and what with everything going on with Taeyang plus the miscarriage she had last year, you've got to imagine that this has been a really really difficult past 12 months for her. Finally this week, let's end on a positive note. It's just been announced that season 3 of The Single Life will premiere on Monday, September the 12th. From the trailer that's just been released, the singles featured on the show will include Caesar, Debbie, Tanya, Veronica, Tiffany and Natalie. But interestingly, from the trailer at least, there seems to be a suggestion that Natalie might be getting back with Mike. That might explain why they're still not legally divorced. I for one cannot wait for the new season. Don't forget, if you haven't seen my video about Angela and Dr. Abeng, I'll leave that on screen for you to check out next.